court today put a stay on a Delhi High Court bench order that had earlier dismissed Indian Hotel's petition challenging the move by the New Delhi Municipal Corporation to auction the Taj Mahal Singh Hotel. Ashmit, who's been tracking that, joins us now. Ashmit, relief there coming in for Indian Hotels. That's a big relief coming in for IHCL. The Apex Court in an interim order has stayed the auction proceedings with respect to the iconic hotel Taj Mahal Singh. And this stay coming importantly close on the heels of the Delhi High Court having allowed the NDMC to go forward with the auctions. Now here are the quick facts of the case. In the year 1978, IHCL on one hand and NDMC on the other had entered into a lease deed agreement in the year 1978. Now, importantly, that lease expired in the year 2011, and since then, we've seen various rounds of litigation between the two sides. Now, importantly, IHCL on various occasions has argued that although it was a lease agreement, but IHCL was not a mere lessee, but on the contrary, was a JV partner, that the agreement was in the nature of a JV agreement, uh, that there were various rights accruing uh, to IHCL as a contributor, as a partner in that arrangement, in that relationship, and hence, claiming before the various courts uh, a right to renewal of that lease. That's essentially what they're seeking, uh, seeking a right of first refusal or a right of renewal as far as the lease agreement is concerned. The NDMC, on the other, has clarified that once the lease expired, there are no vested rights that IHCL can claim at this point and that their position is that they want to move forward with the auction process. Now, after hearing both the sides, we understand that the Apex Court has granted an interim stay as far as the auctions are concerned. Furthermore, it has warned the NDMC from using any tactics to arm twist IHCL and has, in fact, uh, stayed even the vacation notice that was served upon the I, uh, IHCL by NDMC. So what we understand is that, at least in the interim, there's relief coming in for the company. But the broader question on whether or not Taj Mahal Singh should be auctioned, that question still remains. The Apex Court will address that issue in January of next year. Back to you.